Wayne. Wayne. That 50 cal be my boot thing. Sliding in the coupe like Bruce Wayne. Mm. Trey Pan laying down like Luke Shane. All his rags and so tags, we all land. And when it come to the competition, he gon' win. Moving and grooving the other rhythm, we going, going in. in. Open water with sharks in it, he gon' swim. Ain't stopping on the groove line. For that money respect, I'm more than willing to shoot mine. Yeah. It'll connect, boy, in due time. And still less that violence and double up two times. Who the rules is dumb, all you fly shit. Stash rocks, pop is placed in the cockpit. Steady mob with no politics in the guy. This the group me round here, nigga, watch this One nation Trey 4, 7, 11, the deuce and the nine. This under the groove wants to wish everyone a happy new year, prosperous new year, and productive new year as well. Look, man, this Hoover Hey, as usual, it goes out to all the culture enthusiasts, the Hoover Knights, and the collective. Under the groove is grateful to present another informative episode of the Hoover story featuring OG Nine News Hoover V. The day one, he's a day one reputable with his origins, his history, and experiences, not just on Hoover, but in his life period, man. Uh, but before I get to that, man, let me hit y'all with something, man. First, I'd like to say, man, rest in peace to Hoover Hog, man. He's a good homie, man. He was a general. We're going to miss him. You know, uh, same for Hoover Rich, same for Chim Chim, and the same for Big Crow, man. We recently lost those four generals, man. Very reputable homeboys, man. We loved them. We're going to miss them. It's a loss to the set, no matter how you look at it. Uh, these dudes, like I said, were generals, man. All of which, I must say, they've departed this life with their history, man. With their origins, with their stories on Hoover Street, untold. That's history, man, we not going to get, man. You know? So y'all think about that, right? Just think about that, man. Them is true loved ones, man. They gone, man. And everything that they loved and knew about this shit, man, that we call Hoover. The community, you know, our set is going to go with them, man. You know, so still rest in peace, man. We love them. You know, we're not going to be able to tell that story, man. You know, we can speak on them, but we're not going to be able to tell that story, man. So look, that said, man, I want to get in this interview, man, with my loved one, man. This is V, Nine Dudes Hoover. He's an original. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> What's up, bro? How you doing, bro? I'm glad you're on the show. Man. Yeah, man, I'm glad you're here, bro. I'm going to tell you, man, see, the, man, loved ones like you are needed. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? For this this platform, you know, yeah, yeah, this some real shit. This Hoover shit. This ain't Bub shit. This ain't none of the groove shit. This is Hoover's shit. You know about. what I mean? So, you know, man, last time we spoke, it was a long time ago. It was a long time ago, man. You remember? Yeah, I remember like it was yesterday. But you know, those are those are memories that, you know, that uh I I have good memories and bad memories. Yeah. Man. You know, yeah, and, you know, and so that um, was an experience for that, sure. Oh man, that was a walk sure. there. You know, we walked, mm -hmm. you know, we walked that, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, um we learned a lot. Mm -hmm. you know, that was not yeah. just that, that journey was a lesson on a lot of levels. Yeah. And so uh uh with that being said, is that now we here where we at now. Yes, sir. You know, yes, so sir. this is what we do now. That's you the know, part, you know. It it was hard hitting to say the least for sure, man. You know, oh, and yeah. like you say, it's something that's gonna live with us and be with us. Oh, yeah, to but, our you know, that, 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 day. Like, you know, like you know, you know, I expressed to you earlier just one chapter of a book of, of, yeah. of, of our book, you know. Yeah. And so we're on a new chapter oh, yeah. now. So we're on a new get down for sure. You know, those those kind of for chapters. Sure, for know, sure. it, it is, it is, but now things are looking better and things, yeah. you know, and it's groovy yeah. out here. Yeah. We're here. We're here and yeah. you know, we're enjoying here. life, you man. know, the married life, the working life, you know, the family life and the groove life, you know, we still stay in contact. Yeah. We still doing what we do and like a, this is like at the wedding, you know, little devil's wedding. You know? Yeah, I missed you there. Yeah, I man, I was there I front and center, you. man. And you was there front and center. And the hotel thing, I really miss man and all that, you know. So you know, he told me, he said, "Man, bro, bro, I need you, man." Yeah, and that's, what, that's what he was telling me. I was yeah. like, "Man, well, you know, I, he said, man, I need you." You, know? you was front and center, front. Center. Hey, that's what we do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what we do. That's part of that's yeah. part of that. Yeah, that's what they, that's what they <laughs> do. You know. Man. And when our loved ones say they need us, you know, that's man, what we do. We step what, up to the plate, step man. Step the plate, man. Yeah, yeah, that's what this Hoover shit is about, man. For sure. It's about family again. It's our community, you know. Um, 
right quick the life we live in now not just you and i but in general mm -hmm. it, it demands a lot you know what i mean to the point where it's not that our loved ones forget or they're neglectful it's just, just living life you know they caught up in what they got to do or what in, in terms of how they got to live you know to make sure they meet certain requirements or responsibilities man you know so you know it's not a knock you know what i'm saying on anybody you know but like you said man when we call when homies call man we can do all man to be front and center man you know to represent you know, to represent i i think that uh me personally you know um i try i try my best to uh be accountable for all my actions bring that mic up because i want to make sure they hear everything you yeah, saying okay, bro I, you know like i was saying uh i try to be accountable for all my actions yeah you know and yeah my responsibilities yeah and i have yeah. responsibility to this group and, yeah and it always been like that mm. you know born bred it you know uh from all the way back from the 60s when the watch right so this this shit, this this is lifelong with you oh this oh yeah it's it, 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 you know what behind the goals you know you you know you, you in it when you're in it you're in it you know <laughs> all the friendships all the all the family members it's know, from the dirt it's from the dirt man you know okay, let me hit you with this Let, let's get into that then it's from the dirt i'd like to ask you first though v about your younger self what do you recall about your younger self how you came up where when your earliest memories were as far as you know you coming up from the dirt on this you this journey man you've been on okay uh i'm gonna take a walk y'all take a walk with me on this. come on i'm with you okay you going nowhere um i started off in manchester elementary school from, okay from first grade from first grade all the way to sixth grade and uh I used to live on 87th at that time. I used to hop my fence and go to the park. Okay. And match the park. <laughs> Just hit the gate and you right there. I'm right there, you know. And uh, they used to have a little store on Figure World called 3Gs. They have to just have a little motorcycle with all the candy yeah. and stuff in there and all that. Is that the same spot Joe was talking about? Yeah. That yeah. was the same spot That's that Joe was talking spot, about. Man. Okay. That's the same Cool. He had to go back. Hoover way. Joe, he did yeah. that. He mentioned that. Yeah, yeah. it's called 3Gs. Okay. And uh we buy all the candy there. And then, so but anyway, um people always talk about the park as far as you know the giant robot, mm -hmm. you know, the spaceship. Yeah. But before that it used to be the but a, a slide, big ass slide, you know, yeah. big old slide, you know. That that's all it did. Mm -hmm. I remember that one. Yeah. Then uh you know uh there's some books, horse baby. Uh, 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 Heron thing. What, what's the uh, uh, what's the Donald Goins? Donald Goins, uh, yeah, um, Blue horse Baby, son and all son. that, yeah. Well, that was me, you know, in my in my, in my upbringing, so, okay. You know, just people that had read the book, kind of like, okay, me. yeah, I read all them books, yeah. And uh, so, uh, I moved from over on 87th and I moved on, on 91st. And when I moved on 91st, I ended up eventually moving on 92nd. Okay, wait a minute. Let me stop you right there. You said you moved. You was a kid. Your yeah. family. So what? What did that? What did that look like? Your family structure. My, my so fam my family structure was two pieces to it. I had a father and I had a mother. Okay. They separated. Okay. My father was more structured than my mother was. Mm -hmm. And. uh my mother used to drink and things yeah. like that and uh i've never been a person that you know i always been taught that you know you respect your mother yeah regardless and regardless of the fact yeah. what what's going on in the household or whatever it may be mm -hmm. you know so uh instead of me blowing a temper and things you know i decided i decided just to push mm -hmm. you know, outside outside and so basically you know uh I was a street baby. Okay. You know, and that's why I was bringing it up about, you know, horse son and all that. I was, right. I, was, I got I was, you. I was a street baby. Okay. Literally. So, women, though, you were street baby, but did you have brothers older than you? I had I had brothers. Were they street babies? This, this is the thing. It's that back in those days, families looked out for the children. Okay. Other True that. Was family. True that. Looked out for them. 
And so um, my brothers aren't my real biological brothers. Okay. But they are my brothers. Got gotcha. you. And uh, sometimes we have friends that even though they don't have a birth certificate, mm -hmm. you know. Under that name. Up under that right. name. Mother and dad, yeah. But that is your family. Right. And they will mm -hmm. go hell and back. For you, yeah. For you and vice yeah. versa. Yeah. You know, and back in those days, you know, everybody stood to the plate. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I am community-based. I'm family-based. Okay. And that's why my loyalty runs deep. Okay. You know, okay. and everybody that was around at that time, whether it's 60, 65, Manchester Elementary School was full of tanks. Wait, man. Wait, wait, wait. You you, you jumped to 65. You was around in 65? Oh, yeah. I was there. Uh, Manchester? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was. The, the Harbor Freeway wasn't even completed. We used to play on it. So you before the fucking 110 was up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was there when Sam Cook got killed. Over on Fig. On Fig. So okay, you, you mentioned 1965. 1965, for a lot of us, a lot of those who don't recognize the year specifically, mm -hmm. it was, they call it the Watts Riots, but it was a black uprising. That's exactly what it you was. You were there? I, I was young. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah, you I, know, was you, there. You I was just, there. I was there. You understood yeah, what was going I, I, on. I was, uh, oh, man. You know, it, it, it was it was impressive to see the Black Panthers come up to Manchester Park, you know, with, with full geared up with the tamarine mm -hmm. and, and high stepping and with the military thing, doing push ups, making mm -hmm. cadence and mm -hmm. all that. All that was going on. So a lot of people don't realize is that we are very militant. At least I am. Yeah. On that aspect. You mean the community? The community itself. Yeah. Because we've seen that children. Yeah. You know, yeah. The new generation that they have. And the parents were and the affiliated. Parents, and the parents was affiliated. You part know, of the path party. So, um, um, wait a minute. You, you mentioned '65, the Black Uprising, or what they call, you know, others call Watts riots. Right, right. Tanks. Where were the tanks? What the? What do you mean tanks? You the only time I remember tanks was in 1992. Okay. When the Rodney King verdict they came had, out. They used to have little, um, some jeeps, 50 battle caliber on the back of. Yep. Going up and down Hoover. And it's the park, it's the park at the school, matches the school. We couldn't even go to school because all the army equipment and trucks and stuff was they used the playground as a base. The the, the, the catapult for the riots. And everybody with black owned um stores, restaurants, Businesses. things like that, used to always say, uh uh burn, baby, burn, uh put they put it right on the walls, you yeah. know. And so people won't be looting their stores. They know those black owned. Okay. And uh, 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 during that time, you know, even though I was young, uh, I still had a grasp of what was going on. You understood. And those memories are still in place today, you know, mm -hmm. as we speak. You know, mm -hmm. so those that's part. That's about how long I've been living over there. And uh, uh, I want to mention one thing: um, Manchester Park has always been a Hoover Park. What about the the saying out uh, the 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 uh there's a consensus or an opinion that the Manchester Manchester Park belonged to the Manchester Park boys? No, no. First, no, no. I mean, even as a kid, you knew this. They, they had they had Manchester Park boys, but those was those those guys was older than me, mm -hmm. and more like my um. My oldest brother, which I call mm -hmm. my brother, mm -hmm. Art Domingo, uh, Art Domingo, uh, yeah, Papa Jack Sam, yeah, uh, Miller, and all those guys was match. We called matches the park boys to hang out in the park. Okay, but they wasn't really a gang. Okay, you know, got gotcha. you. So that's where you know Arthur is like a brother to me. Okay, and uh, he the one first showed me how to hit the speed back. In front of the uh, uh, swimming pool. Yeah, but yeah, man, yeah, that yeah, little right yeah, there. I know I, you're talking about. I got a crate stood on top of it, and they showed me how to do it. You know, mm. I used to be amazed how he used to just work it. He used to work it. He used to work it. Bro. And you, you know, Arthur Mingo is a way, way back cat. Man, he's a way back cat. From Hoover. From all Hoover. Hoover. All Hoover. It's yeah. Not and not just one eight, set. Yeah. Third, 74. Yeah. Nine seconds. He was from Hoover. 90, yeah. You know, so he all down up in Hoover. Gotcha. Gotcha. 
is his reputation speaks for itself when he was in his prime. Got you. Know? you. Uh, he was, he was, he was, you know, he, yeah, that name is synonymous with oh, Hoover, oh, oh, for yeah. sure. Oh, yeah, without for sure. Doubt. Yeah, and so he was, he is in the same category as my second oldest brother. And so, um, and so when I got time, I got down to Bret Hart. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going I, too I, fast. Yeah, I want to, I want to backtrack because, yeah, there's, there's some other things I want to ask you. Um, let's go back. Um, in terms of what you recollect or what you call in terms of the uprising of 65, you know, the military, the United States government, you know, commandeering elementary school playgrounds, you know, for their equipment and whatnot. What was the community like before that? Before the Watts uprising or the Black uprising 65? Can, can you recall? Can you speak to that? Well, there's one thing that, that, is, uh, that happened. It, Nowadays, it's not like that, but you know, one thing uh, parents didn't do, whether it's uh, domestic violence or or, or uh, a dispute within their family, mm -hmm. you didn't call the police. Okay, you didn't do that. Yo, that's new. Yeah, well, this is what they do now. Oh, yeah, nine one one. Yeah, first, easy. First one get down. Yeah, that's what they do. Yeah, who called first? They ain't trying to work that down. Yeah, they try. They're trying to. You know, We're gonna hit nine one one first. <laughs> yeah, basically. And so, uh, but back in those days, you know, mm. work it out. Well, that's what it was, you know. And I, 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 I get that. I get that. Also, there's a question. Again, before sixty five, was there a sense of black pride in the community? You know, did that exist? Well, the the black pride, you know, um, it was it was. It was the struggles, you know. It, it had this, it had the movement. They had the struggles. Okay. James Brown, Black and Proud, mm -hmm. Black and yeah, Proud. Yeah, all that. That's yeah. all that's movement. You yeah. Know? yeah. Matter of fact, he came to Memphis Park, you know. Yeah. In the helicopter. Yeah. You know. So. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, you were there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How'd he come in? In a helicopter. Yeah, we were about to play. He got a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> it was a big thing back then. He got a helicopter. Brother had a helicopter. <laughs> you know. So yeah. Man. Yeah, he came on in on a helicopter. Wow. You know, so, and then you go to the movement, you know, to the Watch Festival. And, yeah, you know, right, right. You know, but uh, with yeah, Rogers you know, Park and all Rogers that. Park, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Sportsman. You yeah. Know, yeah. And, and I remember they. Which is Jesse Owens now, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but, yeah. you know, uh, it had a little skating events. Even at Magic Park, they had a skating thing. Is that know, right? Yeah, artists be up there skating and all. You know, okay. It, it, you know, it's. Uh, those those was those was some better days. Those were better days. And, and again, you know, I, I was just trying to tap in with you in terms of your sense of uh understanding as far as the community go, in terms of close knitness. Oh. and it was so you knew Miss Johnson in the middle of the oh. street, and for instance, Mr. Wilson at the end of the body. You everybody knew everybody. Uh Miss Dorothy, which is the lavenders. Okay. And um 92nd is built on family. Okay. It's built on family yeah. structure. Yeah. You know, and so there was three three major families. Or who were they? You had the Lavenders, you had the Jeffersons, and then you had Dopey, which is Ricky. I call him by the first name. That's yeah, that's how we grew up. You know, right. I, I don't you know, I don't I say dopey every night. Right. And then, but right. And and that's that's acceptable here. Right. You Go know, and do your yeah, thing. So, yeah. Uh yeah. So uh those that know know. Go ahead. Big families. Yeah. You know, and so um, which you know, each family had I don't know, eight, nine boys alone. Mm -hmm. So you say three mm -hmm. times eight is how much? Yeah, three times eight is what twenty-four. That's a game. <laughs> That's a game. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you touching my math skills, man? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's a gang in the Yeah. You know, okay. And, uh, I remember uh there was a comment about the, the Bush walls, Kenny Bush wall, Michael Bush. The who? Bush walls. Bush you know, walls. You know, That's family. another family. Yeah, it's another family, but they live on the street, Walnut. It's called a wall. Okay. Was and the walnuts used to come with bread hard. You know? Okay. And uh one day we back in those days, 70, somewhere in there, we 70, 72, 73. We used to wear sailor hats. So okay. They had, you know, they, yeah. And they used to have those uh what they call it? Uh, 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 they, they, they sway. 
Uh, where the shoes wallabies, wallabies. wallabies. Okay, wallabies. yeah. And so I'm I'm coming up out of school one day, and uh, I yeah, passed yeah. the little handbook down on the corner. Yeah, Mr. Frank. Right. Was all up there. So as I passed by, I snatched my hat off my head. Whoa. So uh, I said, "Give me back my hat." And uh, they kept passing around behind me, like passing yeah. around playing yeah. games and stuff. So I get frustrated, so I go on back to the house. So when I get to the house, only person there is Mike. Mike is a beast, man. That's my yeah, man. he's a beast. Man. Yeah. I said, Mike, them dudes took my hat. He said, Who did it? I said, Them bushwalkers. Hmm. They took my hat. He said, Come on. I said, I said, Mike, there's a lot of them up there, man. There's a lot of them up there. Yeah. He said, Boy, come on. And we just me and him, we pushing. Right. Go up nine seconds. We go in the handbook stand. And I'm in my mind, you know. I'm frail, man. You know, yeah. I, you know, I, I, I been, just turned a little bit past thirteen. Oh man, yeah. And so uh, I had no weight on me and nothing. Were you from Hoover at the time? No, Hoover wasn't even out then. Whoa. Okay. And so now, when year was that? This is you, like, you this said seventy three. Hoover was no, out. No, no. Oh, it was, it was earlier like, than that. It was like 70, 70, 70, 70, 70 71, Okay, somewhere, yeah, somewhere okay. up in there. Okay. And so um, we get to the hamburger stand. He said, "What's one of these?" Ninjas took your hat. <clears throat> he said, That one right there, he said, You know, whoop him. Go ahead on, whoop him. So uh, that's what I did. Got my hat back. Now, I missed my little band, but I got my hat yeah. back, you know, but it was yeah. all good. So, you know, those are memories that, you know, uh, and what, I, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that, you know, another brother of mine, when, when Mike showed me that lesson right there, mm -hmm. Me and another brother of mine, we were somewhere. Well, what, what was the lesson? The lesson was this here. Is that I was outnumbered one day. I had my I had my first leather coat. They tried to take it. Mm -hmm. And I told them, you ain't taking nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Mm -hmm. I don't care how many of y'all is. Yeah. But I was, you know, Hoover is built, is built for fight. Mm -hmm. It is built for fight. Okay. You know, it, the, you're going to be tried, tested. On all kinds of levels. Okay. All One friends. of my best friends, Amos, man, he's he, he passed away now. Mm. But you know, we fought for two hours straight in the park. Mm. We never fought again, but we fought for two hours that was straight. That was two epic. hour fight. Boy, that was like, epic. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a I mean, up and down, up and down. Yeah. You know, yeah. From one end to another. But you know, you attested there. You know, you going, mm. you know, skill set. You know, some people fold under pressure, or either you're gonna yeah. get better, or you're gonna, or you're gonna, or you're gonna, you're gonna fold, fold. Yeah. And, and break wide. Yeah, you know, lot you're gone. You don't show up no more, or whatever the case <laughs> might be. You feel? Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. You know? But you know, the strong will survive. You know. Yeah. And, Real uh, shit. So, uh, yeah, and so um, that was the lesson was that you know, even now, I was having a conversation with somebody. It's like you know, I'm not too eager to. Uh, Challenged no more, mm -hmm. you know, because um, of the walk I didn't walk. You yeah, know, your and, experiences in my yeah. experiences, yeah. and uh, there's no, you know, when you're a lifer or you have been a lifer, mm -hmm. you gotta walk a little differently. Mm -hmm. you gotta walk you know better. I know better. And they don't know. <laughs> they don't know. You know. And it, 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 you know, it's, it's, on, it's on our responsibility. Yeah, you know, we gotta be responsible, just not for self, for them too, because you know, you know, it can be, it can, it can turn out bad. It, yeah. it, there's no win situation yeah. out of that. None, you, yeah, yeah. none. And you most likely be the one to go. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm gonna be the one going. You know, and they're gonna be gone too. Yeah, you know, but. You know, but you still gone. It's a no I, win. It's no win. It's a no win. You know, so sometimes you got the, you know, now I, I didn't been, you know, situation where I done got a character. Yeah. You know, yeah. I can dig it. You know, and but I immediately had to check myself. Mm -hmm. Can't win this one, boy. Mm -hmm. The first thing they're gonna tell you, you just don't get it. Mm -hmm. You just don't get it. You just that's what that's how they're gonna present that. Mm -hmm. Don't care about nothing now. No, ain't no excuse. No. Oh, what you mean? Hmm. No excuses. And you know, uh, who want to face that one? Not me. Yeah. You hmm. know. You know. 
Now, I'm not saying that, you know, uh, everybody got their limits and their lines. Right. You know, I had made some hard lefts here and there. Right. You know. Right. But uh, for the most part, for the most part, you know, I try to keep my circle. Keep you know, with the, Most, all my friends, every one of them are lifers. Mm-hmm. Every one of them, mm-hmm. they walk that walk. Who you me. talk to and who you break bread with in the whole nine? Yeah, the whole it's dudes nine. that have been through the fire through the and fire, made it. Man. They yeah, here. Man. Yeah, you know, I can dig it. Ones, I can dig it. You know, those yeah. are the ones. You yeah. Know, in fact, it's not even a circle, it's a straight line, I would say. Yeah, you know, you know got, what I mean? got a little thing up north. Uh, Zig from Left Zig to tell everybody the other day that they have a life. Who? Zig. Zig, okay. Zig, Zig was. Uh, Bring that mic up right quick. Zig, it, Zig, Zig. Right quick. You getting this call? Can you hear him? Okay, Zig, cool. Zig is from 11 Deuce. Zig was a, a OG baby west side. That's what Zig is. Is that right? Yeah. And uh, when I first met Zig, you know, by me living in the 90s and going to Washington and mm-hmm. all that, I knew a lot mm-hmm. of history about the undergrounds and, mm-hmm. and all that. And so uh, he said, man, I haven't ran a person in a long time that can talk that talk. Hmm. And uh, so we immediately hit it off. But not only that, Click, we, yeah. we clicked off because we, you know, we had a we had a really a really a bond because we both from forward. Yeah. And but you know, but to go back that far and know those people, man, you know, and really you know elaborate on mm-hmm. things, share like history, people share mm-hmm. history. Mm-hmm. That's what you know. That's what makes you feel good when you can. It's like when me and Little John was talking mm-hmm. today. Mm-hmm. Good, I have mm-hmm. a homie walking. I yeah. can talk to yeah. you and just really go back. Chop it up. Yeah. Talk about this person and that person, mm-hmm. this person, that this person. situation, that oh, situation, and then, whatever the case may be. Throw in some life, some life mm-hmm. uh, uh, lessons in, mm-hmm. in, in top of that topic. Right. You know, it's just not just about, you know, this, but there's some, there's some lessons in there in, in between. You just got to, you know. And so we were, when we were taking that walk through those conversations, yeah. you know, uh, it was, and I told him I really appreciated that, you know, because it's not too often. That I get a chance, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, it 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 really doesn't matter to me whether it's from four trade, five dues, uh, nine five nine, seven four eight eight tray or whatever. It's all one group it's, on the one deck, and, yeah. and this shit is entwined with and, and it's what? It, it's everything. just over. It's just who, you know, and so um, it, and that that's the main thing, mm-hmm. you know. And there's been times where you know individuals you know had tried to you know slide a little separation that kind of stuff will get you beat up mm-hmm. it'll get you yeah. beat up yeah because you, you separate things and this is yeah. a family trying to drive this wedge in between this get out yeah. no wedge no family because yeah. everybody's entwined yeah even if they you get, ain't getting along they still recognize what we family that's, and that's, what they say blood's thicker than water so to speak exactly. you know what i mean you're gonna, you're gonna yeah. call the problem yeah you know yeah and then you got you bigger know, problem that you can handle. Then you got individuals want to be, you know, the greatest thing since sliced bread. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, we get a lot of that. But then you know, ain't no big eye you and no big knees. That's right. Here. That's you know, right. It doesn't matter because I came back from this part and this part. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody's the same. Okay. You know, everybody's the same. Everybody's the same. Everybody's the same until you show other words where you say, you know what, well, you know. I'm just saying, messing with that cat mm-hmm. because of my principles. Okay, you know, and so you know. Let me, let me get back to this, and 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 because we that branched off where we started talking about the Manchester Park Boys. Come to find out, they wasn't really a gang, no, so to speak. No, they wasn't. They, 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 just a lot of older heads hung out at the park. It's it's, it's 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 back in those days, man. They're a gang on, on, on the fact that they all hung on the together, face of it. On the face you know of I mean? it. But, yeah. they, but they, it's a brotherhood. Right. I got you. You know what I'm saying? It, it, actually, it, it, just jumping in, really no different from what Hoover was, but just a lot less intense, I would say. You know? It's, it, it's, you know they, they, had, they, had, they had their little, their little, you know, like Bumper Jack Sam. That's how I got his name. You know, he grabbed a Did they all Jack. grew up together, though? They were they grew, family? They all grew were up they together. family? All of them grew up together. Yeah, you know, and they all look out for each other. Okay, one way or another. You okay, know what I'm saying going to parties. Okay, you know things Got like you. that. You know, with everybody, you know, jump on them. And yeah, things like that. They had each other's back. 
did they last long? Shit, look how long Arthur Mingo lasted. Mm. You know, there's, 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 you know, um, Big D. So was Arthur Mingo associated? No, Arthur Mingo has never been a, a game. A man just to. He, Art, Art Mingo is, 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 he is, he is Hoover on the fact that he grew yeah. up there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I get it. What I mean, grew up there, you know, it's, it's all through. He knows Who don't he, know Art Mingo, though? You, you know what I mean? In, in terms of, we're talking about age groups and generations. That name is synonymous. It's synonymous. That's how you know. Over, yeah. he, Art Domingo. You know, he, he, I don't think there's not one person on this planet that ever see Arthur do up no who was signed. Mm. But he was but he was moving like a motherfucker. And, and we had yeah. his back no matter yeah. you no matter like what you was, you know. Like a motherfucker. And then, you know, and, and sometimes, you know, um, you know, we can get in some things and we'll back back because it's a family member. Mm -hmm. It's a family situation. You got that pass because it it's a family thing. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. there's been situations where you know we involved in things because it's a family thing. You know, we from Hoover, but it's yeah. a family. Gotcha. So now you got a separation a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. now. Okay. But, and so with that, what I'm trying to say is, is that you know, um, Hoover is is a family within itself. Yeah. Gra yeah. Grandma used to tell me all the yeah. time. Tell us all the time. She said, "I got a thousand grandchildren." Mm. A thousand. Ain't there something? Yeah, all of them. All of them from Hoover. Ain't there something? What Joe said it, uh, who Joe was saying back in the day for they was even Hoovers. The neighbors would see them, so they go them little Hoover boys. You know what I mean? There was a recognition even back then that, you know, before Hoover was even established, before, that that's who they were. That's, yeah. Um, each. Each block or each area has a little different uh, way of doing things. Mm -hmm. Truly, you know. And so, uh, in the ninety-second point of view, the old ladies and the family mm -hmm. was there. It was all one big family. Mm -hmm. Even when we did start a game banging and things like that, right? We had mutual love for them. For the family, right? And the older I got people. you. Yeah, and you know, um, and we treat them with the utmost respect. We don't allow the cars to park on their grass. Mm -hmm. Move that car, man. Park, or to park, disrespect them. Period. Disrespect them any kind yeah. of way. Can't you see she's trying to get up in there? Yeah. Get up, man, move that little rock there, man. Push it out yeah. there if you can't raise it up. Yeah. You know, let her let her get up in there. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like the hamburger thing. It's, uh, right there in the corner, Mister Franklin owned it. And we would sit there and watch him uh police pull up 77. It wasn't 108 at that time. Mm -hmm, right. They pull up, get out, and get a hamburger and french fries, and ain't paid a dime. Mm -hmm. Nothing. You know. And so we got to the point we didn't like that, you know, because we didn't we was militant in a sense. You mm -hmm. know, we didn't like uh Team 29. We didn't mm -hmm. like the police. We didn't like 77 like that. Mm -hmm. Then coming over here and doing that. Yeah, running roughshod like right. you put and your already on. struggling every half the families on, on the county. Yeah. And you get the free things and, yeah. and then, you know, so we took all Mr. Franklin's stuff. Took all this all this hamburger meat. Mm. You know, French was that style. was that to show Mr. Franklin or was to show Team show, 29 the no, police? Show Mr. Franklin. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Right. Matter of fact, you know, we don't even really want you over here no more because you're disrespectful. Mm. You know, the same as night riders coming through here, knocking us up, beating us up, that, you know, shooting nothing, you giving them free food. Yeah, you know, and you skinning and grinning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. and then we wait, we waiting, we waiting on the first and fifteen to come around. Mm. You know, so we took all this stuff mm. and uh, several times we passed it all out. Mm. Everybody had, you know, hamburgers, hamburgers and fries. fries. With yeah. buns. There wasn't no shot people back in them days, you know. <laughs> Bring that hamburger bun, hot dog bun. You know, wasn't <laughs> Bring it on in here. Man. And so with that, you looking out for the community. Right. Right. You know, we knew we knew the right. families who didn't have nothing. Yeah. We knew the ones yeah. who needed it. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's true. I mean, we knew, we knew, mm -hmm. you know. We knew who they need tonight before. Yeah, we yeah. We, we had nothing to eat tonight. We, exactly. Yeah. You know, we knew. And so we passed that out mm. on several cases. Mm. And then we stepped to him. He stepped to us and then, you know, can we talk about this? What's the problem? And and uh we just laid it out, man. You filed, man. Mm. What you doing ain't right, man. You ain't hiring nobody. Miss Hamilton need a job. We ain't got no credit. And if people get checks around here. Give them, give them a shot. You know, until they get their check. If they blow it, they blow it. But give them a shot. Mm -hmm. They got to eat, man. Mm -hmm. you know, that still, same free food you get in the police. You same one, on. yeah. yeah. And you still get your money. Yeah. You know. Well, if I start doing that, well, you kind of like, you know, yeah, we all good. Next thing I know, everybody had a tab. Mm -hmm. Miss Miss Hamilton working there. Mm -hmm. Papa working there. Mm -hmm. See, that's the community that Joe was speaking of. Yeah, there you go. Right. That's what he was speaking of. Yeah. You know, that's how I grew up. Yeah. You know, so, and now in turn to that is that when 92nd Street did get wild at the peak of it, mm -hmm. it, 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 it'll easily be two or 300 dudes on the street. Mm -hmm. But they didn't mind us being there because we were respectable. Right. When the police did show up, they ain't seen nothing. What are you talking about? Yeah. Not, not them boys there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not them Hoover boys there. Right, right. Right. Not, no, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> let, let me ask you something. Let me go into something else. What do you know about the Denver Crips? Denver Crips is, um, it's, you had, you had, Strawberry, yeah, Bear, Little John, Wolf, Emo. It's it's they they wasn't really big, mm -hmm. but they was with it with it. They were with the business. And sometimes you don't need thirty people. You can have just five of them and move the crowd. Move the crowd, yeah. Move the crowd. Real talk, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you don't need no yeah, thirty yeah, people. Yeah. They get in the way sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> they get in the way. You don't need no, you know. Whole yeah. bunch of people yeah. all the time. Make it know, happen. Right. You, you know, you know. Right. And so um they ended up turning nine dudes. Okay. That's why that was my next question. So they mm -hmm. did convert. Oh, yeah. They oh, came yeah. home, so to speak. They came home. Yes. They never left. Yeah. You know, and yeah. you talked to little John, you know, yeah. you know, so you love know, one for and, self. Uh -huh. sure. And so uh well, hopefully you can get him get him a chance to come on the show, man, and you know, tell his story. You know, and I'm a little man, older I'm, than they yeah. are. You know, I but, know, you right, know, right. So, but um, <coughs> uh, there was uh somebody I wanted to mention, and uh, don't one person run no set. That's right. It's a collective. Yeah, especially on Hoover. Oh, oh yeah, without a doubt. And and uh, I think we we touched on this base. Mm -hmm. Wait, oh, let me stop you. I, I think I know where you're headed. Let we, let's get there. Okay. Let, let's not go there right now. Let's get there. Okay. Because I got a couple more questions I want to ask you before that actually comes up. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. And, and here's a question. And, you know, I don't know, man, about anybody else, but I know about me. Just, I know. I know. you. I, I right. met you a long time ago. I knew you was a G when I met you, you know. But here's the thing, man. When did you first come off the porch? What age were you? You said you started young. You know, you was like the books, the Donna Goins books. You know what I'm saying? Uh, mm -hmm. There's another book come to mind, Man, Child in the Promised Land. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That mm -hmm. was a cold book, man. Yeah, 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 Them kids good. started out six, seven years old. That's me. You know what I'm saying? That's so my story. You came off the porch at that age. That age. Because, um, you know, even when I got older, you know, People always have motives. Mm. And um, my mother's friends had some messed up motives. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I, I remember me coming home from school and I'm telling her, you know, your friends, they ain't they, no good. They ain't Whatever. no good and they're in, they in the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so, but, you know, my mother had a favorite word, you know, three times seven. When you start paying rent up and then you can tell me what to do. Wait, say it again now. I need you to say it so they can hear you. I said my mother had a saying that she was three times seven 
mm-hmm. that she was grown. Mm-hmm. Three times seven. Mm-hmm. 28. And uh, when I started paying rent up in there, I could tell her what to do. Wow. So I wasn't in no shape. Mm-hmm. And uh, Fuck what I, you talking I, got, about. I was mm-hmm. I was just like in a in a rock and a hard spot. Yeah. I can't I can't really tell her nothing because she's my mm-hmm. mother. Mm-hmm. I got that respect level for it. Mm-hmm. But I'm but I'm not I'm not digging this what's going on in right. the scene. Right. So I, I, I went to I, get the, it. I went to the park one day and I, I was bent to some of the homies and uh come with this idea. Mm-hmm. And uh, I had a 22 rifle and a 38. And I had it. You know, when those trash trucks come with it with the arms. Mm-hmm. I had to get it, the to get the trash and lift it up. Yeah. I had it in there. I know you somehow. Yeah. In in the trash truck. Mm-hmm. <coughs> when, when I was gonna solve yeah. this problem once and for all. Mm-hmm. You was a young cat. Yeah, I was young, man. I was young. I was young. Um I have been told a lot of times I have a tendency to take things to the stream, mm-hmm. you know, and and that's the part that scares me, you know, within my own self, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. you never really know your limitations, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's, you know, you, 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 you fly. Don't know until you get there. Until you get there, man. Yeah. I remember later asked me, said, what's your limitation? I said, I don't know. I don't want to yeah, see it. Don't want to see it. <laughs> I don't want to see it. Yeah, I don't want to get that I don't want to. On the real, man. You, you know, you know you, that, what you said is just, well, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't want it to be redundant. It sounds redundant. To ask you, man, when did you come off the porch? And you'd already said earlier, hey, man. Right, right. The Donna Goins books, that kid, that was me, da, da, da. Right. So not to be redundant, though, but. Joe had mentioned the same thing about people. In what regards? Older people taking advantage of younger people and just being foul, and and it it, it came to a point where we got to take care of ourselves. At, you know when everything that's what it was. Everything said done. You know, um, everybody has to take care of self. Yes, sir. You know, yes, sir. People are always crying about this, they're crying about that, mm-hmm. and this and that. And I tell them straight out, I said, from the time that doctor's pat me on my ass, I've been crying ever since. Yeah, I ain't stop crying. Yeah, I hear you. you know, so you know, I hear you. You know, that you know, we ain't yeah. gonna stop crying until you know, yeah, till yeah. you stop crying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I get you, I know, you follow me. So, you know, um, people do have a tear motors, yeah. Some of them is good, and some, some of them is bad. bad. Yeah, you know, but just to weeding out the things, you know, mm-hmm. and those that's where you know you're just hopeful that the damage ain't too and to where you can't bounce back can't from bounce it. Bounce back from I it. Get oh, it's bro. too hard. I hear you, you know bro. What I mean? so you got to kind of like limit yourself on certain yeah. things, but yeah. you know everybody takes that take that yeah. risk, take that chance. You know, yeah. thinking that you know maybe this might be the one, this might be the thing. Mm-hmm. You know, whatever, and then it just don't work out the way it work out. But you try to limit the damage mm-hmm. as much as you possibly can. I can dig it. You know, and that's just my my own personal mm-hmm. philosophy. Let, let me ask you this, V. When you stepped off the porch, can you recall who was with you? You you did a solo bolo pretty much, mm-hmm. but at that time, do you recall other dudes? Your same, you know, there was circumstances other, were different, but you knew they was off. There's the porch one the person I'm going to mention. <laughs> His name is Donnell. And uh, Donnell was older than me, mm-hmm. and um, he had stepped off the porch. But he was older than me. Yeah, and um, you know how when you when you're young and somebody takes a liking to you, mm-hmm. they put you well, look their, out for put you under the put, wing, put you under their wing. Mm-hmm. Well, that's been always been a blessing of mine because mm-hmm. I listen. You know, I didn't think I knew everything. You know, I didn't think, you know, I be ready to learn though. I, I want to learn. Yeah. I need that help. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, we can't do this shit by ourselves. I don't care who you are, who may you think you are. You, yeah. you cannot do this by yourself. You need somebody. Need somebody. Or something. You need somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I needed somebody. I needed a whole lot of people. And they was there mm-hmm. for me. Mm-hmm. So even right today, you know, my support system is cool mm-hmm. because I know I need it's you. solid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know, yeah. you know. I don't mind networking because just like you know, you was speaking about the 
that 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 for the, for the, for the barbecue mm -hmm. truck. Yeah. And it's not what you know, it's who you know. It's who you know, yeah. We're talking about uh, yeah. Junior Rock, right? Right. Yeah. And so you just came right on in because you yeah. knew you. And you yeah. got, yeah, solution to the problem. Yeah. And so there's, it's solution to any problem, every problem, but yeah. you just got to find a solution. Hmm. That, you know, you got scientists work all day and all night trying to figure hmm. out the solution to the problem. <laughs> you know, sometimes they get it, sometimes they don't. Yeah. But believe me, somebody will come up somebody with it. Somebody got to come up with this. Uh, yeah. This you know solution to the problem. Yeah. That's, they have to that. Thing. And then sometimes when you think that things are so, you know, so uh, uh, heavy on your shoulders or it's unbearable, what the hell I'm going to do? You're tossing and turning. Mm -hmm. and you said, man, how am I going to handle this this, mm -hmm. this mess? Mm -hmm. And then when you decide to bed down and, and tighten up your boots and get out there and get handled it, and you look back and you say, man, what the hell was I worried yeah, about? Was shit. Shit wasn't all that, man. <laughs> that was what the shit. hell? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know. Um, yeah. But to answer your question about me stepping out, mm -hmm. you know, family, community mm -hmm. took care of me. Mm -hmm. What was your mindset, bro? What What was your mindset at that age, man? I mean, because you had to have some type of my mindset formulated some mindset. My mindset, about and I out. got that mindset today. Today, I still what have, is it? What was it? Is that? Can't stop, won't stop. Survival. Survival. I'm going to do this shit. You know, mm. God gave me common sense. Sometimes all you need is a little <laughs> bit of sense. <laughs> you know, and then, all thing, yeah. you know, you know, yeah. it's a little bit of sense, <laughs> man. You know, and you can make it. Hey, River, this on another vein, but we just said we apply ways, make some money for them. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> man, fuck that. We're just gonna be short this, but yeah, man. we got to figure out we get these soups up for this, but <laughs> some, some kind of way. You know, I, mean, so, I mean, it wasn't that bad, but I mean, it was something where we was like, wait a minute, man, we, we got to survive up man, this joint. I mean, man. even right now, yeah. man, you know, I go in my pocket and, and yeah. I can pull out some money. Yeah. But the thing about it is that cool, believe, man. I tighten my belt up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just like back there. You know, yeah. I got I gotta yeah. make it to the next, to the next, to the next go around. Yeah. You know, so all that stuff is factored in. Yeah. You know, you know, and so you know, you, you need to pay this bill, do this, do that, or whatever, yeah. you know. And it, this was this 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 was the biggest thing to me, man. Um when I did get out, mm -hmm. you got a little before I did. Mm -hmm. but, 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 you don't mind me asking how long mm -hmm. has it been now? Since I've been out, about three years. And I haven't really, you know, I haven't really touched the surface yet. I know. You ain't scratched the chair, bro. Mm -mm, mm -mm. But I, you know, I've been. I, I, you will only want you. I've been. You were kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's been good. Having a chisel. You yeah. own it, dog. Yeah. So, you, you know, um, people, I got out doing, doing through the uh, pandemic. Mm -hmm. COVID. COVID-19, mm -hmm. yeah, lockdown, and I didn't understand it mm -hmm. because that was a modified program to me. You know, you ain't seen no lockdown. Yeah, yeah. This is just and another I, yard with something different. I mean, you're going to work, you're going to people's houses, <laughs> you're doing all this and doing that. There ain't no, you know, we locked down, we ain't no yeah. movement. Yeah. I seen people flying up down the street right. and all this, and I'm like, you know, you ain't seen, you ain't seen, it, and all the worries and things and things. And I'm like, you know, I was so eager, mm. you know, on a plumbing office, let's go. Right. <laughs> Car building, let's go. Where we going? Car lot, let's go. <laughs> you know, uh, job, where's the application at? You know, you know, it was just like, and, and people don't realize this, it's that. When you do a long time and you're in that bubble, mm -hmm. when you're in that bubble, you are literally in a bubble. Mm -hmm. You don't smell all the the, the, the gas. You don't see the sights. You, you, you don't yeah. see the sights. You don't hear the dogs bark. Yeah. You don't, you know, you don't, you yeah. know, you, you know, sometimes you don't even see the moon. Yeah. What? What? You don't see that. Yeah. And and so um and people used to talk. Is it talk, but and I'm saying, why are you talking so loud? Yeah. <laughs> why are you hollering in my ear? Because our ears are just that we hear the ting, ting, ting. Yes. 
We yeah, yeah. walk everything. Yeah. So why yeah. is you hollering in my yeah. ear? I can hear all this. Yeah. I tell my wife, you know. I said, look, babe. You know, you got an inside voice, you got an outside voice. Yeah. <laughs> she was <sorry. laughs> he trying to use <laughs> well, uh, but you know, my wife is good. Yeah. yeah. Good, let me let me hit you with this one. Uh, in, in that in that note, that on that note right there, you're talking about. And I just I'm just curious, and it had nothing to do with nothing but what you just said. When you when you first got out here and say if you went to the store when people got oh, that messed me up. That messed me up. How did you feel about that? Oh. <laughs> like, what the fuck you up on me for? Man. I, you oh know what my was? God. Um, I didn't know Mint Low ran all the way down. You didn't? No, I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought this mid yeah. was just in our area. Yeah, good. Yeah. It breaks and, you know, comes yeah. back. But it's all the way past Washington. Mm -hmm. I was in a house called Mint Low. Mm -hmm. And we should take, in this doing through the cold, we should take a little walk around the block. Just right. Like leg right. Stuff. So um, I needed some cigarettes. And uh, I told him, the lady that was escorting us, I didn't want to go to the store, bro. Mm -hmm. Told her she sent her in. She told me, no, you're going in. Bub. I ain't no scary dude, man, but I was shook up, man. You didn't have to deal with that shit. Yeah. And, you know, because, you know, new technologies and things, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. you know how people going to perceive me. Mm -hmm. You know, I ain't found Because I foot. don't know how this shit works. Mm -hmm. I'm looking right, right, I'm right, right, right. I, 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 I ain't even have to, you know, yeah you know so yeah. i was i was kind of like little a little bit but once i broke that ice mm -hmm. you know and uh i remember on my, on my first meals i'm used to the old ketchup bottles you know you used to pop it right Boop. i'm in i'm in uh what was that lucille's and i'm trying to get this this, this ketchup out the bottle i don't know you got to squeeze it I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to squeeze this, squeeze this up, then get the ketchup out the bottle, baby. But this, you're not squeezing it. No, I'm squeezing it. They show me how to do it, you know. So you know, little things like that, man. But uh, um, now I'm at the point now as to where I can maneuver. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. A lot of homies they 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 went you know paroled up north. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and uh, uh, there was, I mean, was asked me what I want to do, and uh, I don't like to be limited mm -hmm. or hampered, mm -hmm. you know. And I felt that me by me going up north, it would hamper me because I, I didn't know my way around, right? And right. I, I don't like really depending on, I like, I like to be self efficient mm -hmm. when I want to move, I want to move. Yeah, you know, I don't want to be, you know, how'd you get here? How'd you get there? Because mm -hmm. that's what here? they would come to. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Was, yeah, you, and you know, like questions. with anything, you know, everybody loved the new kid. Mm -hmm. You know, even when you come to the penitentiary, everybody loved the new guy to come on to the mm -hmm. scene. <laughs> you know, everybody they gave you all, man, they, man, what you need, Guru? You know, yeah. uh, you know, you know, right now, you know, fifteen dollars stole this out. Mm -hmm. They'll mm -hmm. bless you. Mm -hmm. you come that next month. It, it real shit. Like, <laughs> that next month come around and you ain't got it. Yeah. Oh man, you know you got respect because they got they got their own issues. Yeah. You know, and the same thing. Look yeah. out for you, but come on now, come on now. Yeah. Why you ain't got no job right now? Yeah. You know, I, took you here, right. I took you there. So, you ain't made no wine. Yeah, you ain't made no wine. <laughs> oh, you know you, you got cans out here. Yeah. You, you know. Yeah. yeah. You what, real what, what you doing? You know. Yeah, you know, and so, but I knew that once I made it back home, this mm -hmm. is home for me. Yeah, yeah, got you. you. Know, this is home for yeah. me. Yeah, that wasn't. No, that's not home for me. No. This is not another, another, yeah. another, another bypass. Yeah. This is, you know, I am a Hoover baby for real. For sure. For Ain't sure. no if, buts about it. Sure. I am, you know, my wife said, well, who you think you are? I said, I am who I am. And I ain't gonna put I ain't put no tin on, and I ain't gonna be yeah. digging nobody. I yeah. just I just am who you, I am. You know what it is. You, you are know, who you are. That's it. You know. And so, uh, 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 
I watched I watched this thing evolve, man. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh I mm-hmm. want to touch on one more thing before I get to that point. Okay. Because we still want to get to that. Yeah. We okay. Get, okay. Like I said, we're we there. But but but, but I I want I got come on. I don't I'm not gonna uh sit here and throw no shade on nobody. Okay. Don't. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. what I'm not gonna do. Yeah. And you know, and when someone does have to come on uh, under the groove, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? They need to keep that personal shit up on their own. Mm-hmm. You know, um I, I got love for Hoover Joe. Yeah. I got love for uh move man you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. i got love for hall mm-hmm. i got love for all the homies mm-hmm. those are the kind of people with it you, you don't have to even know you always know you're from the group nigga, and they step into it. got you yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. so to, to say that somebody ain't somebody you know everybody somebody mm-hmm. one way or another yeah you know and so I just want to shout that out. Okay. You know. Yeah. That, that, you know. Um, and I'm. You know what? I, I'm pretty sure a lot of people appreciate hearing you say that. Oh, it, man. You know what I mean? On, because yeah. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah. Go without saying. You know. We. You know. It, but it, it, yeah. it, it's hurtful, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To do that, yeah. It's it's hurtful. Yeah. You know. Especially the real ones. Yeah. yeah Especially you, the real ones. The real ones. So, you know. Yeah. Or you have been, and you will be. Under the groove. Bitch, headshots all drop, no foolishness. Flame shot, hot rocks on my shooter shit. Seventeen stuff tight in my roots, clip. My niggas is rolling, my team in the bank. We sipping the handy, we puffing that thing. We rocking the orange, we begging the A. We loading bananas, my team is the pain. So A 